When we think of a chronic illness, we might assume it's something that can be physically seen, but sometimes it's invisible. As CBS 4 Santiago Caicedo explains, a group of Valley researchers are working to break the stigma behind people with chronic illnesses and disabilities. I was so young and I didn't, I didn't really think about it as that, as a mental illness. Evelyn Diosdao is a sophomore at UTRGV, and although she has depression, she's more than just her chronic illness. She's also studying biomedical sciences. But it was just hidden there and it started building up up to now. She recalls memories of developing an eating disorder linked to depression when she was 12. But now, with other fellow students and researchers at UTRGV, they're finding ways to empower other students so that no one feels excluded for having an illness or a disability that sometimes can't be seen with the naked eye. People with any illness do not want sympathy. They don't want you to feel sorry for them. Ricky Rendon is a graduate student in clinical rehabilitation. He, along with medical health professionals, have started a local group so that other young adults can raise awareness on disabilities. Especially here in South Texas represents a lot of chronic illnesses. Uh, you think of diabetes, uh, any condition of the heart. Rendon says those who are living with a chronic illness or disability can find ways to excel in the workplace. Because as a person who suffers from a chronic condition, um, uh, it's a very, it's like coping strategies. It's uh, things that I can apply to my daily life. Experts say that inclusion and coping should always start very early. And if that starts at a young age, if a young child has a disability or chronic illness, they're excluded from the general population. And that leads to severe problems throughout the development. Inclusion. Inclusion, yes, uh -huh. that. Which can go a long way for anyone. In Edinburgh, with complete Valley coverage, Santiago Caicedo, CBS4 Valley Tonight. Other health advocacy summits will be held on November 3rd in Indianapolis and at Duke University on November 11th. 